Doing a tracheostomy tube exchange may be an overwhelming experience. The task may seem scary. However, it does not need to be that way. There are steps which can be taken to help. Join me this week as I share five tips on how to do a tracheostomy tube exchange. Before performing a tracheostomy tube exchange, it is a good idea to watch an instructional video on how to do the procedure. I created a detailed video called How to Do a Tracheostomy Tube Exchange, which discusses the supplies needed and the steps which should be taken. In my video on how to do a tracheostomy tube exchange, I give a list of the key steps for performing the procedure. A copy of the list is written out in the video's description. It may be helpful to print off the key steps on how to do a tracheostomy tube exchange. As you do the procedure, you can check off each step to make sure you do not forget anything. When doing a tracheostomy tube exchange, it can be easy to overlook the supplies needed. Carefully review all the supplies you will use. I try to organize the supplies and place them in order. It is also really helpful to have extra supplies available during the tracheostomy tube exchange. You may accidentally get your gloves dirty and need new ones, or you may drop gauze on the floor. If you have extra supplies available at your disposal, it'll make the tracheostomy tube exchange much easier. One of the most important things to remember when doing a tracheostomy tube exchange is to stay calm. If the tracheostomy tube gets stuck, do not panic. If you cannot remove the old tracheostomy tube, try your hardest to pull it out. If it will not move, leave it in place. Contact your durable medical equipment company or physician to ask what should be done if the tracheostomy tube cannot be removed. If the old tracheostomy tube is removed, but the new tracheostomy tube will not go in place, reposition the tracheostomy tube and try again. Sometimes it may be hard to get the tracheostomy tube through scar tissue or adhesions, Try using a twisting motion to rotate the tracheostomy tube into place. If the tracheostomy tube will simply not go in, try using a tracheostomy tube one size smaller. An important item to have when doing a tracheostomy tube exchange is a tracheostomy tube which is one size smaller than the one currently in place. If the person has a size 6, then you should have a spare tracheostomy tube, which is a size 5. If the size 6 will not fit back into the airway, try using the smaller size tracheostomy tube. Please note, it is not ideal to leave the smaller size tracheostomy tube in place. Once the tracheostomy tube is exchanged, contact your durable medical equipment company or physician and inform them you did a tracheostomy tube exchange, but you had to use a tracheostomy tube one size smaller. They will guide you on what should be done next. If you are concerned about doing a tracheostomy tube exchange on your own, ask your doctor or respiratory therapist for help. You may be able to schedule an appointment and have the doctor or respiratory therapist supervise your first tracheostomy tube exchange during an office visit. Alternatively, if you have a respiratory therapist who visits your home, Ask if you can do the tracheostomy tube exchange during a home visit. It is important if you receive supervision that you do everything yourself. You can ask for help if you forget what to do, but ideally you should do the entire tracheostomy tube exchange as if you were doing it alone. Having someone to supervise the tracheostomy tube exchange should just be a safety net. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.